Hey everyone, Lee Burkhardt here, and welcome to our hands-on video series. Today I'm very excited to be talking to you about our first impressions of the all-new Nauticam NAZ8 underwater housing and the Nikon Z8 camera. Needless to say, we're thoroughly impressed with the housing's design, and there are so many exciting features to talk about with this new underwater housing and camera that it's hard to even know where to start. So we're going to break all these features down for you, discuss the really important ones that stand out, additional gear you should consider adding, and more importantly, what kind of benefits all of this equipment offers for underwater imaging. So let's kick this off by first taking a closer look at the NAZ8 underwater housing. One of the first things you'll notice is the excellent ergonomic design and control placement. Thanks to the ingenious engineering from the folks over at Nauticam, many of the camera controls are rerouted out to the left to right side of the housing, placing essential controls for focus, exposure, and shooting right at your fingertips. Camera installation and assembly really couldn't be any easier on this. In fact, you can build the entire system in just a few minutes. Simply depress the red buttons and rotate both housing latches outwards to remove the rear of the housing. Move the tray lever into the release position and remove the camera tray from the housing. Attach the tray to the camera using the quarter 20 thrum screw found along the bottom of the tray. Place the assembled camera and tray back into the housing. Lock the tray into place. And then rotate both of the housing latches inwards to close the housing back up. Attaching ports is also made easy thanks to Nauticam's patented port locking lever. Simply move the port locking lever to the release position. Align the dot on the port to the dot on the housing. Push the port into place. And then move the port locking lever back into the lock position. There's also a lens release button integrated into the housing to swap the lenses directly from the front without having to remove the camera making lens changes in the field quick and painless. As for your lens choices, the housing is built around Nauticam's N120 port mount, so you have the entire line of Nikon's FX and new Z mount lenses to choose from, with solid choices on everything from macro to wide angle. Full zoom and focus support for all of these lenses are provided by Nauticam's lens gearing, with the dedicated knobs located on the left side of the housing for precise adjustments to both zoom and focus underwater. The housing is also compatible with a wide range of Nauticam's water contact optics. The SMC1 and SMC2 make excellent choices for all of you super and macro imaging fans, and offer superb image quality, contrast, and color compared to many other options currently in the market. The EMW L1 is a unique addition as well, allowing you to shoot dedicated macro and wide angle all in the same dive, and is compatible with the popular Nikon 105mm macro lens. Image quality is superb, and you have lots of options with the 60, 100, 130, and 160 degree objective lenses. Nauticam's WWLC, WACP, and WACP2 are also great additions as they provide incredible image quality and sharpness, and when paired with the right lens can provide a very versatile option for capturing wide, medium, and close-up shots all during the same dive. We have several articles and videos available on all of these optics, and I've included links to all of this content in the video description below for you all to check out. Nauticam's moisture alarm electronics are included, by the way, along with their vacuum electronic system. Now you have to purchase the vacuum separately to utilize this, but we highly recommend it as it provides some peace of mind that you've assembled the entire kit properly and it's safe to die before you enter the water. The housing features five and 10 millimeter threaded mounting points for attaching ball mounts for a variety of additional accessories. 
There's also a tripod ball mount set available that's perfect for attaching ball mount arms to be used as tripod legs. Nauticam has also engineered a USB-C M16 bulkhead and cabling for plugging in a USB-C battery bank at the surface for charging in between dives. This is a great feature as it allows for external charging to the Z8 camera, meaning you can literally shoot all day without having to open up the housing to swap batteries. Nauticam includes an M24 bulkhead opening for routing an HDMI connection to external monitors, such as the Small HD and Atomos line of monitors. These monitors make a great addition for any underwater shooters as they provide a larger, brighter 5-inch screen for viewing and are absolutely loaded with all kinds of assist tools, such as focus peaking, false color, waveforms, and many more that make your job underwater so much easier. We put together a series of videos on these monitors that discuss all of their features in much more detail, so be sure to check those out in the links below. For those of you who prefer to use the EVF, you can take full advantage of Nauticam's optical viewfinders, with both straight and angled options available. These are strongly recommended for anyone using the EVF, as they provide a significantly brighter, clearer, and larger view of the camera's electronic viewfinder. For photography lighting, the NAZ8 comes with the manual LED flash trigger pre-installed. An optional TTL LED flash trigger is also available. Both are self-powered by coin cell batteries and provide fast triggering for supported strobes with the built-in fiber optic bulkheads found on the NAZ8. As for the Z8 camera features, several of our staff will be out shooting with this equipment over the next several weeks, so stay tuned on our webpage and our video channel here for additional test footage, photo examples, and review articles. This equipment is perhaps one of the best hybrid camera and housing combos we've used to date, with a size factor and price tag that offer an incredible value. Overall, we're thoroughly impressed with the Nikon Z8 and Nauticam housing's performance for underwater imaging, and I hope today's video has been useful for any of you considering picking this gear up from us. Now, if you liked today's video, you'd like to see more content like this from us, or if you're just curious and learning more about underwater imaging, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons found just below the video here. Of course, feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below, or just contact our staff directly. And to check out more of other articles, videos, and other media content, you can visit our website and just click on the Learn tab found along the top of the homepage. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more cool content to come soon, and we'll see you on the next one.